Hey guys, it's Ryan the Beast 29 here, and I gotta make this fast. Well, not, I can't, yeah. Um, it's gonna be a pretty long video, so I gotta make it as fast as possible. So, I promised everyone I was gonna make a video on my new Pro's Choice mask once I got the new cage in. So, here it is. Uh, looks great. It looks a lot better with the new cage on. Um, the new cage, it's not a new cage, it's the same cage. But it's just different color. I got it gold plated. It used to be just painted gold. So it's a color difference. And plus it, uh, it won't chip as much. Or won't chip as easily now. So uh, yeah. Uh, so uh, what I got here is the Pro's Choice 961 clone. Uh, round vents. 3.75 inch. Inch? Inches. Yeah, inch I think it is. Uh, chin drop, uh, black harness straps, open back plate straps as well, um, his standard foam, uh, standard chin cup, um, I'm not sure what back plate this is, it's, I think it's called like pro back plate, um, tri-cat cage, gold plated, screws are gold plated and everything, and, uh, I think that's about it. Oh, and also Bauer GTP Dangler, only available to the pros. Very nice, hasn't broke at all, or cracked. Um, yeah, very, very nice mask. Um, it was, it, the mask is painted by Ron Slater, who does, like, a Tuka Rask paint job. He, he does his paint jobs, and, um, yeah. So, as you can tell, this is inspired by Tuka Rask mask. It pretty much is this mask with, I guess, my own little twist, I guess you could say. Uh, the top of the mask is just like his, um, even like this gold right here. The gold color is actually real gold. Um, on the side, it's got Texas with Drake, the rapper. And then on this side, it's got uh, Texas with a bull and a cowboy on it. And then on the chin, it's got my nickname and sparkles, like all shiny stuff. And also on the eyes, there's like shiny stuff. And on the back plate, it's got a duck with like a Texas name to it. That was on my Sub-Zeros when I had them. Um, it's got a uh, longhorn right here, a skull for Texas. And then going, and then on the horns... It's got a ribbon that I always have on my all my mask. It's a uh, teal and purple ribbon, half teal, half purple, um, for my uh, two two grandmas. Um, one of them passed away with ovarian cancer, and one right now is fighting uh, Alzheimer's. So uh, yeah, that's what that's there for, kind of like a tribute. Um, and then in the background, it's uh, the Texas flag. And then under that, it's got like flames and stuff. So yeah, I, the paint job looks really, really sick. And I really like it. It looks amazing. Y'all can definitely tell. <coughs> so uh, yeah, uh, I use this mask twice now. Um, I don't use it too, like I use it, but I only use it in games usually. Um, maybe like a drop-in or two, but these this is a... I only use it usually in games because uh, I got this mask for practices because I don't want this one for the paint job to get messed up or anything like that. But um, so far so good. Um, amazing mask. The best fitting mask I've ever had and it's not even custom molded for me. Um, I got it to fit like my Bauer SE that I used to have and it even fits better than that. Uh, the foam is amazing. It's like, almost like memory foam, I guess you could say. Like, I don't know if y'all can see, but if I put my finger imprint, it kind of like imprints in there. Um, and the foam is pretty thin as well because the mask is such such a protective mask that the foam, you don't really need thick foam. So that just makes the mask a lot more comfortable. The chin cup is also very comfortable. It's almost like a gel type. So that's very cool. Um... Yeah, amazing protection as well. Um, I've gotten a couple shots off the head and no ringing at all. Like, just the most protective 
just best mask I've ever ever had. Uh, uh, probably the best mask out there in my opinion. Um, I haven't tried all the masks out there, so I can't give you an honest like review. I guess you could say because I haven't tried every mask out there. But so far, this is the best mask I've ever worn. Protection-wise, comfort-wise, look-wise, maybe, I don't know. The Bauer SE was pretty cool-looking, but that doesn't really matter as much as protection and comfort at all. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's about it for the review part. Um, if you, Again, if you're looking for one of the most, if you're looking for a very protective and very comfortable mask. I'd say go with this. And if you're willing to pay the money to protect your head, definitely go with this. Uh, pro's choice. Um, yeah, so I don't know if I told all this, but it's a 961 clone, which is also known as the Vaughn Velocity. So, yeah. Uh, now I'm going to do like a comparison of my Price Factory 961. Well, 9600 with 961 Vince. Um, I'm going to compare it next to my uh, Pro's Choice 961 clone. Um, I got a lot of questions on the, why why is this, why is the Pro's Choice called the 961 clone if it looks nothing like it? So I'm going to answer that for y'all and um, just to let y'all know and to clarify this, uh, I actually talked to the mask maker Dom himself on why like about the shell shape and all that so uh yeah these is pretty much what he said so I'll start off with the ridges on the mask if you can tell on the white mask they're very pronounced and very big and bold like you can tell they're there um yeah um very uh vulnerable to chipping so that's not good um, on this mask, Dom made them not as pronounced, not as, like, bold, I guess you could say. They're just smaller, uh, so they're not as, they're not, um, a big, uh, target to hit. Not as, uh, big of a surface, I guess, to hit, um, for chipping, so uh, just better durability-wise. Um, also on the chin, it's got the Bauer flare on here, so you can tell it flares out on the bottom. Whereas this mask, it's very straight. It's just straight down, pretty much. Uh, the reason Dom did that is because, uh, for again, durability-wise, so it doesn't chip as uh, easily. And uh, Dom also reinforced the chin on here, which is very cool and very nice. So uh, again, just great protection. Um, so yeah, rather than that, uh, the mask, if the Bauer, if the Pro's Choice had the Bauer flare and like the bigger ridges on top, it would look pretty much like a, a Pro or a 961. Uh, the one thing I also noticed is on the Pro's Choice, the like the edges are more squared off. Everything's more squared compared to like the Bauer. It's more round. Everything's more round on here. So uh, that's another thing I noticed. And I already did a video on this, so if you haven't seen the video, go check the video out on my channel. But, um, yeah, amazing, amazing mask. If you're looking for a top-notch mask, definitely recommend this Pro's Choice. Um, go get one, and uh, you'll love it. It'll probably last you for a long time, and you can always refurb your mask once it needs uh, a little more life in it. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope this was kind of like a informational for y'all. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, go check out my other videos. Rate, subscribe, comment.